So we're going down this way. Looks like you could fit two vehicles in here without any problem. Coming up on site two. Site number three. Site number four, side by side parking. Coming up on site five. Cindy and I were just saying that they could have crammed a whole lot more sites in here, and it's a good thing they did not. Site 5. Parking's a little bit of a downhill. Pad looks level, though. Another water source. Uh, these sites up here are a little more close together. Yeah. Site six. They do have some trees in between, yeah. you know, like those two, so there's a little bit of privacy. Site 8. Site number 9. Number 9. Number 9. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> number 10. Eleven and thirteen. We walk down here; they're kind of close together, but you have a little bit of privacy. If you can't, we're down here. You can't really see the site right next to you. To site 12. Up on a little hill. About 10 stairs there. Fourteen is on the end here. Not much privacy between 14 and 12. And then 15, private. And Cindy's out for the count down here. <laughs> Tough hike to Rainbow Falls. But it's like 16. It's very nice. a lot more secluded and then the road continues up to the cabins and the bathhouse so we're walking back up to do the RV sites uh, site 5 here is the last one where you've got um, 
really good privacy. So one through five, very private. So back up to site one, it's not quite as private as two, three, four, and five, because you are right next to the dumpster, little dumpster thing here, and right where the road turns in. Back at the kiosk, heading to the RV sites. 17 is handicap. Site 18. Driveway looks pretty flat. Yeah, it is. This site 20 is a pretty choice site, really. You got some nice woods behind you. We'll take a walk up to. All these sites have uh, they have water right here, electric, of course. I think they're all 50 amp. And they have their own septic. There's site 19. It looks fairly flat too. Uh, site 20 looked flat too. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned that. See the bathhouse through the trees there in the cabins. It's like 22. It's not bad either. It looks fairly flat. It's like 21 looks pretty flat too. It's got a view of the cabins out back though. Uh, May not be for everybody. It's like 23. Oh, that's perfect. It's got a little side slope to it. That's the road down to the bathhouse and the cabins. Here's the bathhouse. Heated with showers. Five cabins. Cool. Okay, we got the camp poster. Yeah, thank you. You want to file a complaint about that buckeye? Uh, <laughs> I hear you. Hey, they escaped today. Uh, it's like 24, right across from the camp post. Three sites back here, like I said. By the way, this is the first night that the campground is open. So we've got a few here, a few people here that are local like us that are just checking out the campsite for the first time. Site 25. We have a V van. That's got a little bit of a downward slope to it, but it's not bad. As you see there on uh, I got levelers on the back wheel. These three sites back here are really spread out. Coming around the corner to site 26. <laughs> All right, site 26, that looks fairly level. that that light stays on at nighttime not really sure hopefully not no light. we're coming up on our site 27 
<laughs> uh, there she is. That's a slight uh, uphill. You can see with the, it's a Ram 3500 and you can see how much space is, is there. The last three sites, 28, 29, and 30. 28's kind of right there out in the open. coming up on 28 29 not sure what's going on here I guess somebody has it reserved and they're out for the day might be in a van 29 looks fairly level a little bit more secluded. And then 30, right after 29. So it's not like the other loop where they were spaced out. These three are right together. But still have uh, the berms built up. So you do have some privacy between sites. Site 30 looks fairly level. And that's it. So for the color, man, the color has just been outrageous today. <laughs>